Leap year, an extra day, and a whole lot of history. This is In Through the Outdoors, and I'm your guide, Jason Walter. Presidential elections fall on a leap year, but not all are leap years. Even though leap year happens every four years, they are not all created equal. The rule is that leap year is divisible by 100, but not 400. So 2000 was a leap year, but 1900 wasn't. The next leap year we will skip is 2100. So none of us have experienced a leap year, and you'll have to live another 76 years to experience the next one. While studying this extra day, I found a pattern to easily identify a leap year. Years with 20, 40, 60, and 80, then 12, 32, 52, 72, and 92 make it pretty simple to pick out a past leap year. Like 1936, Rappala carved his first original floating crank. In 1948, Howard Lund built his first boat. The first pontoon hit the water in Minnesota in 1952. Bob Meter invented the basic bottom bouncer in North Dakota in 1964. The Lindy rig came in 1968. Dave Gens made ice fishing history when he built his first flip-top portable shelter in Minnesota in 1980. John Prochnow developed power bait for Berkeley in 88. And in 2006, Vexilar introduced the FL-12 and the FL-20. Humminbird rocked the fishing world with 360 imaging in 2012. Fraybill's iFloat suit and Apple AirPods came along in 2016, and then there was COVID four years ago already. Move on. Happy Leap Year 2024. I'm Chase and Walter, and that's In Through the Outdoors. I hope you get out there real soon. As for me, there's no doubt I'll be out chasing Walter. Find more at iHeart. Be safe, and thanks for listening. If you're looking for episodes in print, go to chaseandwalter.com and make the trip to Brookings County Outdoor Adventure Center, indoor archery, and gun ranges. They also have rooms to rent for your special event. Go to bcoac.org for more info.